advanced. Mm -hmm. Ted, weather today, how's it going? A little uh, chilly for us, but uh, only a subtle change so far. We have uh, eased down a little bit from the 30s back to the 20s, and that's where we'll stay pretty much all day. We're going to see a little less of the sun, and certainly this morning, uh, and if we're lucky, we'll see a little more of that uh, coming up this afternoon. We had the thin veil of cirrus clouds yesterday, just enough of those thin clouds. Uh, of course, with cirrus clouds, you have a lot of little ice crystals present, and so when the sun breaks through, you get some of that refraction going on. We had a halo around the sun for a time yesterday in the middle part of the day. Sue Key and uh, Byron uh, snapped this picture. Really cool to see those halos. It's really kind of uh, exciting on a day that was otherwise a breezy and colder day. And this morning, a little on the brisk side, and we have some snow flurries uh, trailing into the area. Coming in for the north, right down the Mississippi Valley. Activity coming in for western Wisconsin. Some of that moving toward uh, Chatfield, Preston. We've had a few flurries in the weather patio already as we move along through the morning. More and more of this as this upper level wave of low pressure comes in. Now, high pressure is coming in behind that. That will come in later this week and bring us quieter weather. But ahead of that, little disturbances will keep things kind of unsettled and we'll stick with this colder uh, version of late February weather, certainly than we've been enjoying recently. Uh, a lot of clouds around the area. There have been some reports of some flurries and light snow showers. These are surface observations to the west. Still some uh, starlight be reported at some of the reporting sites around Albert Lee and Fairmont. This morning looking at some low clouds, uh, kind of a brisk breeze. 25 the temperature though that's not bad uh, for morning standards that's actually a pretty decent almost 10 degrees above your typical morning low temperature to start the day 25 in Rochester one of the warmest on the map right now Winona 27 it's 23 in Decorah 25 right now in Charles City so we start the day in the 20s but we still have those winds 13 miles per hour yesterday we dealt with 18 to 20 mile per hour winds the rush of the day and we'll eventually see that unfold again we'll have those winds pick up a bit clouds around through big chunk of the day and that's going to keep things a little bit colder. So 25 the temperature now that essentially will be where we'll be most of the day. We'll likely drop a few degrees and then bounce back with some of that late day sunshine maybe to help the cause getting back to the mid and maybe upper 20s in some spots. But breezy with flurries today. Uh, colder end of the week. Maybe a few more flurries by Friday morning and then it will dry things out and warm things up nicely for the weekend. But high rise future cast tracking the possibility of maybe just a few more of those very light snow showers and flurries coming in uh, for the north at times. So look for some of that in the morning and midday hours, and then we'll see some breaks of sunshine uh, later in the day. Uh, on the way down to 22, that's where we'll be in the next couple of hours with a few flurries, mainly gray skies, kind of a chilly north breeze, keeping the wind chill level mainly in the uh, teens. So I'll have clouds, brisk winds, and then there's some sunshine after about uh, 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon, helping us get back to the 20s as we ease down to low 20s for a time. Sunset 554. Again, just a trace amount of snow, nothing to shovel certainly out of this. Up north where there have been some big gaps in the clouds, a whole lot colder. International Falls 3 below. It's 6 in Bemidji, 22 right now in Minneapolis. We're in the 20s uh, here in our area and southward, even some 30s. Oskaloosa 31 and uh, 30 degrees in Fort Madison. Weather Almanac, what's typical this time of the year, 32 and 17. Uh, we're starting out above that seasonal average, but for the first time in about five days, we're going to be colder than the average high temperature. Sunset 554. But future cast, a little bit of enhancement in that cloud kipper, some flurries and very light snow showers, then some sunshine as we move into the afternoon. Temperatures mid and in some cases upper 20s. Occasional sun or stars and clouds tonight. We'll have a little sun at times tomorrow as well. And then tomorrow night into early uh, Friday morning as the warm front approaches, a little energy ahead of that will give us a chance of maybe some flurries or very light snow showers early Friday. And then eventually high pressure will bring us some extra sun in the afternoon. Beyond that, that warm front will swing through and you see the results. We'll see a warm up for the weekend, more of those mid and upper 30s. And we'll stay in the 30s right into next week, that first full week in March looking uh, half we decent temperatures uh, where we expect them to be, if not a little better. But some flurries and very light snow showers this morning, then some late day sunshine. 25 in Rochester, 25 in Charles City with brisk north winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, a low of 8 degrees and 7 day forecast looking at some uh, very light snow showers or flurries early Friday. Next week, rain and snow. Those are minor systems early next week, so not necessarily a lot of snow to shovel, but more than the early March sloppy uh, damp weather for a while. Yeah, we expect that this time of the year. Yeah, typical for uh, March, definitely. As we move into that month. Thank you.